Hi there, and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to carry out a one sample test of proportions in Stata. In order to do so, we'll begin with some data. I have already created these data, I'm pasting them in for you. They represent an experiment of 50 coin tosses. And what we've recorded here is one for every time that we received heads and zero for every time that we received tails. And what we'd like to know now is the proportion of tosses that we actually had of heads, is that equal to 0.5? So in other words, we're asking ourselves, is that proportion the same as 50%? And our intuition tells us yes, right? If you have that many coin tosses, it's going to start trending towards 50% uh, heads, 50% tails. And that's basically all we're doing. We're testing that here through this code. Now here's a couple of things that come out. We see that about 52, not about, exactly 52% of our tosses were heads. And now we're actually comparing this real proportion to our hypothesized proportion of 50%. And what we find out here is that there is no statistically significant difference between our actual proportion of 52% and our hypothesized proportion 50%. We know that because this p-value is over 0 0.05. We also know that because 0 0.5 is within the 95% confidence interval of the observed proportion. So quick interpretation, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of talk. What does it mean? It means that, yeah, for all intents and purposes, we threw 50% heads. That's it. So basically it's just a statistical way of quantifying that. Um, I want to call your attention quickly though to a couple of other things before I stop this tutorial. Sometimes you don't want to know whether your proportion is different from a hypothesized proportion. You want to know something more specific. Is it smaller than? Is it greater than? Now, for those instances, you're going to look over at these other columns here in the Stata readout. For example, in this column, we're testing the probability that the proportion of 52, which is what we actually tossed, 52% heads, is that smaller than our hypothesized proportion of 0.5. So that's what that p-value is for. And over here, we're testing whether our observed proportion of 0.52 was greater than our hypothesized proportion of 0.5, and that's what this p-value is for. Now what we see in this case is none of these p-values are significant, but what you'll notice sometimes is that these p-values might be significant out here, while this one in the middle isn't. So please be careful when you specify your tails and your hypotheses. Be certain that what you're looking for is specific. Is it a difference from a hypothesized mean? Is it less than a hypothesized mean? Or is it greater than? Because depending on that, you're going to be interpreting this one sample test of proportions in slightly different ways. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.